Yes, thank you. This is the person I wanted to see. You may leave now. I'll be fine on my own. Thank you. Hmm. Well then. Hello there. <laughs> You're very likely wondering why you're here, aren't you? And even more, why you're chained up in this cell. Am I right? <laughs> well, you probably think that you haven't done anything wrong. And why would I let other people bring you here? <laughs> I can read you like an open book. <laughs> well, you see, I wanted to talk to you. Just the two of us. No distractions from anyone. <sighs> you... You... You have no idea what you have done to me, do you? <laughs> see mm. simply put you have made me a pure gracious innocent woman sin and sin all because of you you have done this to me because of you I... I... I feel so dirty. <laughs> and no matter how much I wash myself, I try to cleanse this sin. I can't get rid of this dirty, lustful feeling. <laughs> I have never felt like this before. I have always been better than the disgusting, licentious crowd. But then you came into my life. When you danced on that fateful day and smiled, came so close to me. Oh God. Do you have any idea how hard my heart was beating then? How caught off guard I was? What's even worse is that I couldn't get rid of this. I... God, I can't even speak because of you anymore. My thoughts, they are all taken over by you. You disgusting heathen. Your beautiful hair, eyes, skin, body. How long I've yearned to just touch it and feel it. Oh God, I've wanted it for so long that I've truly felt like I've gone insane.
even in my dreams, I saw you. You were still doing those seductive moves. And... I kept, I kept wanting to see even more. You made my body burn. Hellfire has consumed me. And it's all because of you. And you don't even know. You just kept being the innocent, naive self. You didn't know. You kept dancing and laughing and smiling while I was in this hell. Eventually, I couldn't take it anymore. So, I sent people looking for you and accusing you of doing black magic. <laughs> it really was easy, you know. All the houses that my men burned down. <laughs> All while looking for you, the innocent people that were slaughtered. It's all on your soul, you know. If you wouldn't have done this to me, then I wouldn't have had to do that. <laughs> but it's all your fault. I've been thinking about this long and hard. And I made a decision that you can either be mine and only mine or simply put I will let you be burned on a stake in front of everyone and they will all be just as happy as me. What matters to me is that you will only be mine. <laughs> uh, you think the little glare of yours scares me? <laughs> Nothing can scare me anymore. Absolutely nothing. You are to be mine, either in life or death. It does not matter. So, which will it be? Will you be mine or will you burn? <laughs> of course, I knew that. You have made a good choice, darling. <laughs> because... If I hurt you long enough, if I make you suffer like you have made me suffer, then I will finally be cleansed of this sin and lust. At the same time, besides hurting you, I also want to pull you close like this and do this. Even the simple touch of your lips makes my body burn. <laughs> well, you have made me go through hell, so now it's your turn, darling. <laughs> Let's start. <laughs>